Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and behind my hamster we have today's project, and what we'll be making today is an air-powered cork gun. So now that you've seen my hamster, what you'll need for this video is the following. You'll of course need a nice Dollarama air horn, something like that from a party store, some duct tape, a hot glue gun, some corks, and optional are some thumbtacks. So originally I bought this air horn with the intent of making it into a fully automatic airsoft gun, but the power it outputs is not even close to enough to propel a BB. So instead I made it into a very simple cork gun. So if you don't think this is a very complicated project, stay tuned. I'm going to try and buy a higher output air horn and show you how to make it into a fully automatic airsoft gun. But for today's video, the first step is to take the lid or the button off of your air horn. And inside, if you take off the nozzle, you will see a little potentially different colored valve. You should be able to remove this. I already did it to mine, but most will probably have a latch of some sort. Let me see if I can focus for you here a little bit. Sorry, it's kind of tough to see. But if there is a latch, just try and open it up. And when you open it up, there used to be a film sheet, like saran wrap right there. Remove it, close it back up, put it all back together, and that will make your air horn not whistle anymore. So now it's just an air gun. Now when you put your air horn back together, just give, give it a little hit, and you'll hear it doesn't make any more noise. So believe it or not, your air horn is all ready to be used as an air gun. So for ammunition, you could use Nerf bullets or anything squishy like that. But in today's video, I found that the best thing to use are actually corks. And we are going to modify the corks to make them into cork darts. So to do that, all you have to do is take a thumbtack such as this one here you grab your hot glue gun it's kinda hard to show you guys on camera but pretty easy to explain put a little dab of hot glue on the back of the thumbtack or push pin whatever you call it and just squish it on the cork like so let the glue harden up and now you're ready to fire let's do some shooting tests the last thing I'm going to try before a shooting test is to potentially make a little holder for the ammunition on the side of it so to do that, I'm going to take some duct tape, rip it down the middle, and make a piece twice as long. So there's about one length. So let's make it twice as long. About that, let's say. Rip it off. Then by making it into a loop, this is just a quick little thing you can do if you want. By making it into a loop and pushing it on the side of your air horn, just like that, you have a place to stick some of your ammunition for a quicker reloading. Okay, here we go for the shooting test. As you can see, I've loaded up a bunch of ammunition. So what you want to do is put the cork in, obviously, back end first. Push it in with a good amount, not too hard or else it can't push out the barrel. But the harder it is, the more pressure that builds up in the tube, so the faster it will go. So, here we go, firing in three, two, one. Without cutting the camera, let me show you real quick. Take another ammo, put it in the end of the barrel, get a better angle for you this time, firing at that um, door over there in three, two, one. All right, let's do some power testing. All right, I'm sorry if you found the video to be a little blurry. I just found that the lens had a bunch of gunk from my last video on it, so sorry about that. But anyway, for power testing, I have a wall over here. We're not going to shoot the electrical socket, of course, but by loading a, another ammo into the barrel, I'm going to shoot it right up against the drywall and see if it goes into the drywall. I doubt it will because it would have to go directly straight, but just in case anyone wants to see it, here we go. I'll angle the camera for best results. Firing in three, two, one. So it didn't make a dent right there. There is a hole in my drywall. I'll try one more shot. I've got two more loaded on my belt, magazine, whatever you want to call it. Here we go, as close as possible, firing in three, two, one. It actually worked. There you go, guys. 
So it actually works. You can use this weapon to hang up grocery lists or to-do list. You know, get your significant other to hold it while you're like going around. Be like, want to help hang up the to-do list? Didn't work that time. But anyway, there you have it. I'm all out of ammo. Hope you enjoyed this very simple video. It was supposed to be a little more detailed and powerful and shoot airsoft BBs, not corks. But it is very powerful. Cost me about four bucks from the dollar store. I'm in Canada, so everything's more expensive. But anyway, thanks for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.